Hey everyone, and welcome to the Quartermaster Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about can your CPA take your payroll taxes and then who's responsible for paying those? Yeah. So we have a pretty unique uh, scenario here, and we'd love to talk about it and just to let you know who's responsible if an event like that were to happen. Um, so, Don, let's, exp- let's walk into this a little bit. So, um, the example that we have is there is a CPA out there um, who basically was embezzling money uh, from, their, uh, from their client, and they did so over a number of years. And once the client had found out about that, they went and sued to get the money back from the insurance company and then also uh, the bank that was allowing this to happen. And uh, the IRS came knocking on their door saying, hey, you still owe us this tax. Or yeah. you still the payroll tax. So Yeah, yeah there's some other, other interesting things about this case, and we'll, mm-hmm. we'll talk further about it. But the CPA, mm-hmm. uh, once the uh, business owner recognized that there was some embezzlement going on, mm-hmm. um, you know, he confronted the CPA, and the CPA is going through the documents. Mm-hmm. It has a heart attack. <laughs> oh, wow. How convenient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, the, which is unbelievable. So, the, uh, of course, the CPA goes to the hospital, and when the client comes up to his hospital room, he confesses. Mm-hmm. And that's when all this started with the lawsuit and, uh, of course, the insurance company of the CPA uh, that's uh, Arrow's emissions and, of course, um, the, the bank. So, you know, he, so the, the business owner gets all this money back, million-plus dollars. And, um, but uh, they did not go and take care of the payroll taxes. And so the IRS is, doesn't play when it comes to payroll taxes. They do not. They do not. And because uh, the owner uh, gave, he delegated the payroll to the CPA, it makes him a responsible party in right. that case. So that's why he's sharing some of that liability or all of that liability at that point because it's not a matter of, uh, it's kind of like when you uh, have a brother or sister and they're pointing fingers about who did what, uh-huh. and uh, mom says, I don't care who did it, just fix it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. that's kind of how the IRS... <laughs> that's exactly right. Great yeah. example. Yeah. Yeah, so the IRS will come back and hold the business owner, because ultimately the business owner is a responsible party. Even though, uh, you know, and, and with all sincerity, this has been years ago, but uh, when I was in Texas, I actually had something on a lower scale than that happen with a bookkeeper. And... Um, you know, in, in our office, handling all that kind of stuff. And the IRS held us responsible that it was taken care of. I wasn't aware of it until I get a notice in the mail. And then, of course, uh, that bookkeeper was uh, let go. And, uh, but there's things that you can do, and this is what we make sure, in, in, as you, know, you learn from your mistakes, is making sure that you have some checks and balances in place. And the number one I'll start off with is when that, uh, the bookkeeper files that 941 on a quarterly basis. By Jove, you better have a copy of it because you need to make sure that it was filed and you need a confirmation of that. And the second thing is, you know, if there is an error on it, you need to be able to back that up to defend yourself when it comes to the IRS. Number two, uh, the EFTPS, where you can log in, you can see the deposits. That's another way to, to verify that. But ultimately, again, the burden falls upon the business owner. And you have to make sure that that gets taken care of because even if that person doesn't file or doesn't, uh, well, number one doesn't file or, or doesn't pay the taxes, it comes back to you. Yeah, that's really important to make sure that you in some way keep your hands on that payroll tax so that you can make sure that things, the right people are getting paid, the right amounts get paid out to the government and that you don't end up in a situation yeah. like this guy. Yeah, and the IRS treats it very, very uh, seriously because what you're ultimately doing when you're doing those payroll taxes, you're taking your employees' money, okay, mm-hmm. for their taxes and their Social Security and Medicare, and you are a steward, and you're supposed to steward that by sending that off to the IRS. Um, and so that's why they treat it very seriously because ultimately, you know, this is money that, you know, as an employee, as I've received my money, I've paid my taxes and so on and so forth. But if the IRS doesn't get that and you file a, a W-2 with your tax return and they, you know, it shows that you, you know, there was nothing withheld and that's what the issues generally come up. So th- would this have any sort of impl- uh, implications on the uh, employee? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah. No, no, okay. no. They're, they're totally safe. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, it all falls back to the employer. Gotcha. So definitely make sure you keep an eye on your payroll taxes. Make sure you know who's doing it. Make sure you get a copy of doing that so that this doesn't happen to you. Yep. Anything else you want to 
No, just like I said, it's it's all about uh, accountability and checks and balances. Making sure you get that 941, that would be the minimum thing that I would recommend. Um, and because, you know, they can send that into the IRS. There still needs to be a confirmation whether that was a fax, whether that was, you know, they sent this in the mail, they did it electronically. However, just make sure that you have some kind of confirmation. And I do wonder how much this happens and people have no idea. Mm. Embezzlement, different things like that, and they don't. Because, you know, you get so busy working um, on things of the business yep. and not in the business that, you know, you're trusting that person or whoever it is to take care of that to take care of for yeah. you and you don't pay attention to it, you know? And that's a fact. So, and, and, you know, and the CPA in this uh, this case here who is considered the uh, creme de la creme when it comes to accountants out there still was tempted and still took off with the money. So just because, you know, whether it's just a, a bookkeeper that you found on, um, I don't know, Indeed or whatever, mm-hmm. Uh, or you have a CPA, you need to make sure there's a checks and balances in place. That's a big thing. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you on our next podcast. Yep. And don't forget to hit that like button, follow button, and share button. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks.